Less than two hours till this has to go live. No problem. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. This is the second time you will have seen me go live on my channel today. And by go live, I mean upload a video, not actually go live. Although, if you ever want me to do that, let me know if you'd be interested in the comments because I'd be happy to put something together for you. It has been a very, very busy 24 hours in my house. I have spent most of my time in front of the camera or computer or, or like phone camera picture taking thing. I am overtired and over caffeinated, so I apologize in advance if half the ramblings out of my mouth make absolutely no sense. I actually went as far as as to make a whole another pot of coffee. Not like another cup of coffee, like another six or seven cups of coffee, according to my coffee pot. It's one of those days. I am here today to bring you my very first collab video, and I'm super, super excited. This is the four by the fourth collaboration, and I am doing it with six, six? One, two, three, four, five, six, six other ladies. How fantastic is that? What a collab for a first collab video. And so you will find the channels of every one of the lovely ladies that I am about to mention linked down below. Once you're done watching this video, please head over to their channels and watch their videos as well. Some ladies have channel names that are their names and some have channel names like mine that are not their names. So I'm just going to give you the channel names, be it their name or their channel name. Does that make sense? I told you I wouldn't be making much sense. So the six ladies that I'm doing this collab with are Gina from Gina Pearson, Jess from Blessed Jess, Julie from Living Large on Lifetime, Nancy from Nancy Ann Ramirez, Shauna from The Love of Makeup, and Jess from Weight Watchers Journey to Healthy, and of course myself. So everybody will be linked down below. Go ahead and check them out. So on to four by the fourth. What is it, you might ask? Well, four by the fourth is us beauty ladies. And by beauty ladies, I mean actually most of us are Weight Watchers <laughs> YouTubers. But we all like to use beauty products, and so we are going to do a use up four products by the 4th of July, because why not? It is a budget-friendly thing. I am very, very guilty of buying more things before I actually need them. And the result is a giant chest of drawers that is full of nothing but beauty products that I use hardly ever. So I jumped on the opportunity to be a part of this collaboration. But me, being the person that I am, I'm taking this dream a couple steps too far. And instead of four by the fourth, I am doing four categories of beauty products with four products in each. Quick math, that is 16 products by the fourth. I have them all in my lovely little acrylic tray, and today's intro video to it, oh, that reminds me, there's a cute little intro that Gina actually put together that's like a cute little movie trailer that I couldn't get to upload onto this video. I couldn't figure it out how to download it, then upload it. So I will link that down below as well. The intro video is just all of us sharing with you the four products, or in my case, 16, that we are going to be working to spend the next two months getting to the bottom of, be it a pan or emptying a tube or a container, whatever it is, this video is proclaiming to the world what my products are. And you will be getting some progressive videos. Progressive? Perfect. See, I told you. Progress videos as the two months pass. So today is May 4th. These are due to be empty by July 4th, and I can't believe that two months is July. <sighs> so let's jump in and get started. The four categories of product that I am going to be doing are hair slash body care, skin care, meaning like for the face, lip products, and makeup that are non-lip products. So those are the four categories. Let's start with hair slash body care. First thing that I'm working on getting rid of is this. This is the Surface Curls Smoothing Cream. I have had this for, I think, two years now, and I really just need to use it up. Thankfully, this stuff doesn't actually go bad, or if it goes bad, it's not for like a handful of years. I talked to my hairdresser, which is who I got this from, and I used it in my hair. A lot of the stuff that I'm actually trying to use up, I used on my face and my hair today on purpose. Um, this curls line by surface smells like vanilla cake 
and my theory is as long as it still smells the way it's supposed to, it's still okay to use. So the way that I'm going to measure my product progress, I'm going to try and measure the progress in as many of these items as possible. Some, it just didn't make sense due to packaging and the nature of the product. But for stuff like this, I actually wrote down the weight. I've weighed it on my food scale, and I'm starting this at 170 grams. Ooh. The next body product I'm going to use up is in a strikingly similar tube, but a completely different product. This is by Bath and Body Works from their new, not really new, actually their reintroduced uh, Tootie Dolce line. This line used to be popular like 10 or 15 years ago, and I was obsessed with it then, and I'm growing increasingly obsessed with it now. And I am just not nearly as good at using up my lotions as I am at buying them. So this is the Golden Honey Praline Body Cream that I'm working to use up and I'm starting at 155 grams. The next product for body and hair care is not surprisingly another Bath and Body Works products. These body sprays are also something that I am notoriously good at buying and not using. I have so much fragrance and I hardly ever use it. So I am going to work on using up this Pearberry. I got this probably at least two years ago when they did one of their semi-annual sales and re-released their old classics. Pearberry was one of my favorite scents growing up. And so I bought it and this is how far I've gotten in that whole two years. Mm -hmm. So I actually drew a little line on the packaging here so I can mark where I started and track my progress as I go through the next two months. And the last body and hair care product is this hand cream. It is by Royal Apothic, and it is a poppy scented hand cream that I got in a pop sugar must have box. I'm slowly but surely working my way through this, but it's never the first hand cream that I reach for. And because of that, it's never gonna get used up. And I've really considered just tossing it, but it's not that old. I've had this for less than a year. And it's a good quality hand cream, it's just not the one that I reach for. So putting it in this collab is going to encourage me to actually use it and this weighed in at 88 grams. Okay, moving on, let's do skincare, shall we? The first thing is this Lush Aroma Water Toner. My aunt gave this to me because she wasn't using it and it technically is best by November 2016. Whoops, um, did I weigh this? I don't even know. I did weigh this. This weighed in at 180 grams because I tried looking in here to like see if I could draw a line. I can't tell where exactly it hits, so I figured weighing it was the way to go. And again, because I buy myself new skincare stuff to try all the time, this just gets pushed to the side and I'm bringing it to the front of the line and hoping to use this bad boy up. This is a lot of toner. And I've been using this regularly for about a month now and I feel like I've made no progress. So Hopefully in another two months, this will be gone. Next up is this Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cleanser. And I got this for free with my last Kiehl's purchase because I spent enough money and they had a promotion going on. And this is just your basic cleanser. It's for all skin types. It's super gentle, but deep cleansing. Uh, a creamy, foaming cleanser. Real super basic, 169 grams. Then I want to use up this Colleen Rothschild Clarifying Detox Max. And this I actually got sent in a PR package. And I've been using it, but I, again, masks are something I acquire on a regular basis. And I never, I'm not never, the collection I have is getting out of control. And since you're only supposed to do masks a couple times a week, it's really hard to plow through my stash. So I'm making this one a priority just so I can get rid of it. Um, I didn't, I should, probably should have weighed this. You can kind of, you saw where I was kind of starting. It's hard to tell. And the packaging on this is so heavy that it's hardly going to, like, emptying it is going to make minimal difference in the weight. So when it's gone, we'll know that I succeeded. And the last skincare item is also by Kiehl's, and it is the Kiehl's Facial Fuel Heavy Lifting Eye Cream. I actually think this is a men's eye cream, but I got it on for $18 on Hot Look when Kiehl's was last on Hot Look, and I was looking for a new eye cream. I'm still looking for the magical eye cream that's going to fix my dark circles under my eyes, which are now turning into like little itty bitty lines as well, and I'm just, oh. I'm telling you, now that my acne's finally starting to get better, my under eyes are like my biggest skin uh, confidence drag whatever you want to call it. The thing I'm most self-conscious about. I wasn't kidding when I said my brain was just not firing right today, guys. Overtired, overcaffeinated is not a good combination. It really isn't. 
Um, so I think this is a men's eye cream. Again, I can't really tell where I'm at. I would say I'm at least halfway done. But, um, and again, the packaging is much heavier than the product, so weighing it was really not going to make much of a difference. But I'm going to prioritize this over my new Dr. Brandt eye cream, which I've been using for a while, just so I can get rid of it. And honestly, I want to empty this, get rid of the product that's in here, and get that used up, and then I'm going to depot the Dr. Brandt eye cream into here because the packaging on the Dr. Brandt eye cream is so ridiculously bulky and heavy and is like five times the size of this pot for probably the same amount of product. And now we're ready to move on to makeup items. Now these are non-lip makeup items because I have so many lip products that it deserved a category all its own. The first thing I want to finish up is this little deluxe sample size of the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Milk Chocolate Chocolate Soleil or Milk Chocolate Soleil? <gasps> it's Chocolate Soleil. Well, I have it on and it's not too dark for me, so. Anyway, I got this in probably an Ipsy Glam Bag or something. I don't know, one of those beauty subscription boxes that I now don't subscribe to anymore. Actually, I might have gotten this in my Sephora play bag. I can't remember. But I have a whole bunch of the mini Too Faced bronzers. I have like the whole big book of bronzers by Too Faced. And it's going to take me my entire life to use those up. And so I decided that we're going to start with this one because I've been using this one. Bronzers are one of those things that I feel like no matter how often I use them and how much I use them, like how much at a time, I feel like they never get any less. I don't think I've ever used up a bronzer in my entire life. So this is more of an experiment than anything else because I'm genuinely curious as to if I can hit pan on this at all, let alone in two more months. The next item is this NARS blush and it is called Deep Throat. And you can't even tell that it's called Deep Throat because everything in there is written in Japanese because I got this when I lived in Japan in January through mid-March of 2015. So this bad boy is two years old. It is time to see if I can use this up because it would be a sin. It would be a beauty sin to toss a NARS blush. It just would be. And so I need to see if I can hit pan on this bad boy so I can feel less bad about the fact that it's two years old. And my last makeup item is essentially one makeup item. This is the Too Faced Christmas in New York, the Chocolate Shop palette from this past Christmas. And my goal, the reason this is counting as two is because I want to pan any two shadows in this palette. Any two. I bought the entire eyeshadow palette line from the last Too Faced Christmas collection. So the set of three different palettes, the Ulta palette, and this palette. And this is the one I reach for the least. And I just want to make sure I justify spending the money by using up some of these eyeshadows. So number three and number four for makeup is going to be two of these eyeshadows, maybe more if I'm lucky because depending on the different looks I can create with this palette, I might be able to use up a couple eyeshadows and these are exclusively what's on my eyes today. No eyeliner or anything, all shadows from this palette. And the last category and perhaps the category that I need to use things up in the most is lip products. So I have four lip products here and I'm being smart about my choices. I have a small one here and this is the Bare Minerals matte liquid lipstick in the color swag which is actually what I'm wearing right now see I told you I used as many of these products as I could on my face today so I have no way again of measuring this so hopefully I just run out the next product is this lipstick by Clinique this is the the Clinique pop lip color and primer combo product, whatever. And this is actually, I own quite a few of these. This is the one I've used the most. This is in Nude Pop. I love this color. It's gorgeous. I just, again, have so many lip products that I don't use any up because I'm always reaching for something different. So this is helping me pare down my selection, at least for the next two months. And for this one, I actually drew on the cap with Sharpie. And I, the level is from where the lid hits the top here to where the gloss or the lipstick hits. Does that make sense? So I have a line drawn where the tip of that is. So we'll see. We'll see. I should be able to notice if I make significant progress in this. Number three is a Lancome lip shaker in the shade... 
piece of cake. I should have known that. And these are one of those cute little things. I did a full review video on these bad boys, and I really like them. They smell great. They're super fun. They're actually very hydrating. Oh, they feel so good. They really do. And this is actually my favorite shade, and it is again... Are you seeing a theme? All of the lip products are essentially the same pinky nude color. But I love this. It's something I will wear every day, which is why I chose them for this challenge. And yeah, so I'm going to use that up. And then the last product is by Pharmacy. It is their Lip Bloom Lip Balm in the Strawberry Basil um, scent. I don't know if you can tell. There's this, There's a divot in there. But again, I have so many lip balms now, especially with my purchase of the ginormous gift set of lip smackers that had like 32 lip balms in there and then me getting myself and getting as gifts the fresh lip balms for Christmas. I have so many lip balms. Oh my gosh. Um, so I just want to be able to say I've actually used one up. So that's why this is in here. So there we go. Those are my four categories of four before <laughs> the fourth for this collaboration. Like I said, I will have the links to all six other channels that are participating in this collaboration, as well as Gina's little theatrical introduction video to the collab, all linked down below. Please go ahead and check all of those lovely ladies out. I know I have subscribed to all of their channels, and you should too. So thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, and I will keep you updated on my progress. Talk to you soon. Bye!